Well, Novak, you came back to a bang, a back with a bang of that incredible Wimbledon, fourth Wimbledon title. You've had a bit of time to reflect now. How important a moment was that for you, considering what you'd gone through recently? Well, it, you know, it was uh, quite a ride, quite a journey. Um, obviously, post-surgery, several months, I was trying to find my form. I worked very hard and probably harder than ever. Uh, but obviously, you know, I had to had to trust the process. I had to be patient. And that's probably the biggest lesson that I've learned because uh, I wasn't that patient throughout my life. <laughs> so, um, you know, I had to learn that and, and, and understand that, um, the, you know, the com good things come with time and, it, it, you know, it takes time, especially after surgery to, um, you know, hit thousand and thousand of balls and, and really get a comfortable feel on the court and, and eventually start playing well. So it has happened for me, um, you know, the big comeback, winning a big trophy in Wimbledon in the best possible scenario, in the best possible uh, setting. Um, you know, Wimbledon is definitely the uh, most well-known tennis tournament in the world and the one that I always dreamed of winning. So it was a, a true, true blast. Both Roger and Rafa also went through sort of similar long-term injury absences and then came storming back over the last couple of years. Do you think you've all gone through a, a sort of similar experience with that time away from the sport really proving a positive experience in a way? Absolutely. I was, lo I was lo actually looking forward to have some time off and six months uh, with, with no tournaments was fantastic. I mean, I, of course, towards the end of those six months, I started missing tennis and started training. Um, but I had plenty of things to do and family and it was, it was lovely. Uh, but then when I started training for a new season, I felt pain again and kind of played with the pain in Australia and then the surgery was inevitable and uh, after that, you know, kind of the season started and, and you know, I wasn't fit and, you know, frustrations kicked in and, uh, you know, obviously struggled mentally a little bit there. But at the same time, as I said, you know, it had to happen for me to, to really understand myself on a deeper level, understand what I need to do. Um, and, and in which way I need to, uh, so to say, approach, you know, this sport and, and training and to get myself on a, back on a desired level. And the um, last couple of months have been terrific, really. Uh, Roland Garros, uh, Queens, and then, of course, Wimbledon title. Um, I, I finally, I think, reached the level that I, that I want to play on. And 11 years since you first won the Rogers Cup with four titles, two of them here in Toronto. I mean, Canada's been a happy hunting ground for you over the years, hasn't it? It has uh, been, a, you know, a great place where I had uh, wonderful memories and, you know, won tournaments both in Montreal and Toronto and had plenty of support along the way. Just enjoy time here in Canada and uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, a, a, a kind of a new beginning for me, you know, after after winning Wimbledon, I just feel that I'm back at, um, at my best and I, but it's still work in progress, you know, I still, you know, need to, um, I guess, earn my confidence on, on this surface and started off well, so hopefully can have a good tournament.